Hello, God's beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Tara and I post prophetic messages from the Lord. The Lord uses me. He downloads via dreams, visions, hearing, seeing in the spirit. So here I am going to share a word um, that the Lord shared with me this morning that he wanted me to tell his cheering. Okay. <laughs> um, this morning I was talking to the Lord and I always pray and ask God, you know, open myself up to the Holy Spirit. Like use me, Lord, like I'm your willing vessel. You know, what is it that you would have me, you know, to hear, to know, to see. So, um, God was speaking to me this morning and I heard the word now. So, okay, Lord. And he said, it's happening now. And I said, okay, so God says this, and I'm going to, when God gives me a direct word, I give it to you how he gave it to me. Okay, like, I'm not going to add to it. I'm not going to take from it. Okay. And he says, tell my children it's happening now and to not forfeit the blessing. He says, tell them there is progression, some seen, some unseen, but tell them if they would place their hope in me then they will absolutely see in the spirit what's unseen with the natural eye. I'm going to say that again because so some of y'all might not have got that. He says that if you will place your hope in him, then you will absolutely see in the spirit what is unseen with the natural eye. Tell my children, or better, better yet, ask my children, Where's their faith? God want to know where your faith is. He says, renew it. Honey, just like when you your, your license expire, you got to renew them. Honey, you got to renew your subscriptions every month at, with Netflix and Hulu and everything. Renew it. God says, renew your faith in him. Don't focus on what was. I need you to focus on now, says the Lord. And when he showed me now, it was big and bold. And what's to come? Tell them, take their thoughts off of how they feel it should happen and open themselves up to receiving it how I send it. I'm the poster child for that. I have to take my mind off of how I feel like God should operate in my life all the time. Tell them whatever it is they are waiting for, the time is now, God says. He says, I'm restoring, replacing, refilling, reconciling, all that was lost. And the time is now, God says. Tell them this is the season of recompense. Woo! Come on through, Lord. Which means, baby, you about to be paid back. Honey, you about to get back paid. Things you didn't even know you lost in the previous seasons. God says recompense. You got some back pay coming to you. You didn't even know that you had seeds sown from way before. Things, seeds, seeds that you done planted. God says recompense. Things that you lost, recompense. Baby, you got back pay coming to you. God says, and it starts now. Come on through, Holy Spirit. I don't know if y'all can see this. <laughs> Lord, you are so amazing. The sun is shining in. I don't know if y'all can see, but there is literally a rainbow going across my screen. God is a promise keeper. And y'all, the rainbow is full circle. It's like non-ending. Come on through, Holy Spirit. I love it, okay? I absolutely love it. As soon as I said that, the rainbow appeared. That is God's covenant. We know that from the story of 
of Noah. We know that is his covenant when God put a rainbow in the sky. Honey, he done brought the rainbow in here to this video. Come on through. God says recompense in this season. It might have faded me out, but that's okay. Y'all ain't got to see me that good. Y'all done seen me before. Um, and God says it starts now. He says, behold, I do a new thing. Do you not perceive it? The Lord says, but he says, most importantly, don't miss it. And do you know how you don't miss it? Put your faith in God. Put your faith back in him. He says, renew your faith. Do what you got to do. Honey, when you ain't got the 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 fifteen ninety nine, because you know Netflix used to be five ninety nine, and that is a heap of dollars. But when you ain't got it, honey, do what you got to do to re renew that subscription with the Lord. Do what you got to do to renew your faith. Go back to God and say, God, I need you. Give me a fresh anointing, God. God, give me, show me something in the natural to let me know that you right here. Make it so plain and clear, Lord, that I don't miss it. Woo, come on through, Lord. Come on through. God promises to be, to reward our faithfulness, to be who he says he is. He is not man, so he can't be right here telling lies, okay? Honey, he ain't like everybody else in your life. He ain't going to let you down. He ain't going to drop the ball. He ain't going to stab you in your back. He ain't going to bless you and then turn around and take it from you. That ain't the kind of God we serve. Go through hell for the Lord because I promise you, if you trust him, you put your faith in him, you rely on him, baby, you're going to come out and you're going to be shining, honey, brand new in the spirit, honey, just glowing and everybody like that say, just let your soul go. And you ain't even got to have no Jerry curl or nothing. You is going to be shining and glowing in the Lord. Trust him. Renew your faith. Renew your faith. We all waver in our faith. I am no different, but I have to go back and say, God, I know what you can do. I done synced with these eyes. I done synced you do it. So I need you to remind me of who you are. I need you to show up for me. I need you to show me your glory. God, I love you and I know you working it out for me. Honey, talk to the Lord. Renew your faith. Get into some praise and worship. Do whatever you got to do. Read your favorite scriptures. Baby, when I'm going through, honey, I put scripture everywhere. This whole wall right here, y'all, is full of scripture. I ain't lying. Because, and sometimes I just sit here and I read it to remind myself who God is. To remind myself, Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love and are called according to his purpose for them. If you love God, have if you have faith in God and he has given you purpose, I'm going to need you to renew your faith. Don't miss out on these blessings. Don't miss out on your now season. Don't you let the enemy cause you to go back. Don't let that person that loves to push your buttons cause you to lose your blessings. Because I'm telling you in this season, baby, God is about to take you places you ain't never dreamed of. You waiting around for a great job. God was like, you want to, whatever it is you want, I'm going to magnify it. You're going to have the job and your own business. You're going to build your own empire. You're going to have your own legacy. You're about to be the CEO of your own company. Okay? Trust God. Trust God. You want to open up one hair salon. God said, I'm about to give you a chain of hair salons. You want to open up your own tax business. God said, I'm about to give you a chain of tax businesses. I'm about to take you from coast to coast. That word is for somebody. Melissa, that word is for you. Come on through, Holy Spirit. Melissa, 
That word is for you. Come on through, Lord. Trust God. His, you are about to blow up, but you got to renew your faith. If you got to renew it every day, do that. If you got to renew it five times a day, do that. Because the enemy loves to sneak this, okay? He loves to be in your ear. He loves to bring negativity. You ain't going to never. You ain't going to never. This ain't going to never. Lies, lies, lies. I am who, I, who God says I am. And he says, I am favored. He says, greater is he that is in me than that that is in the world. So I'm going to need y'all to act like it. And renew your faith in God and watch you blow up in this season, okay? Watch how you your anointing grows. Watch how you walk into rooms and be noticed. Walk, remember, go back to that word where God is sending his children, his chosen, his prophetic, into corporate America, baby, business is going to be tearing the doors down because they're going to want somebody with eyes to see and ears to hear because it's going to be needed in this season because what's to come, it's going to be life-changing and ground-shaking, okay? And you're going to want somebody who can get a word from God in this season. Will it be you? God says it's now. God says it's now. This is the now season. He working it out for your good, but he can't do it if you don't believe he going to do it. He needs you to trust. He needs you to trust him like y'all trusting W2s is going to show up and you about to get a tax refund. That's the kind of trust that you need in the Lord in this season. God said, let him be your earned income credit. Okay, let him be your big payout. Trust in him. And he's about to do it for you in this season. The season is, this is the now season recompense. So everybody who has lost, every, people, oh, it has been so much lost in 22. But in 23, ha! <laughs> recompense baby god is bringing it back to you and then some this is just the beginning y'all better get ready renew that faith walk around i don't care if you got to put a scripture on your forehead and every time you look in the mirror you read it whatever you got to do put it on your phone do whatever you got to do trust god let me tell you something the enemy can't mess with your mind if you run in your mouth Run your mouth to the Lord. Claim who he is. Know who he created you to be. Because he said he had plans for your life. And that is plans to prosper you in this season. It's now. This is your recompense season. You either want it or you don't. I love y'all. And I'll be back with another word from the Lord.